hello viewers and welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make gizdodo gizdodo is the combination of fried gizzard and plantain in pepper sauce so let's get right into the kitchen we need ripe plantain for this recipe and it needs to be clean and cut so here i'm using four ripe plantains So we need to peel it out. And then we'll slice it in half. Then into quarters. Then we cut the plantains into small cubes. And we'll repeat the same thing as well. We we'll cut the other half into quarters and then into cubes. Pour this in a bowl. And then we set this aside. Then we repeat the same thing with the other plantains as well. Please ensure that your plantains are washed before you cut them because you don't know who might have handled them and then you don't want to eat gems. So you cut your plantain right into half, then into quarters, and then into cubes. If it's your first time on this channel, you're very welcome. Please click the subscribe button and ensure to turn on the notification bell that way you won't miss any of my videos and then you get notified instantly when i upload new videos and to you my returning subscribers thank you so much for trusting in me thank you for the love and support i'm really really grateful god bless you here we have our peppers we'll be using three red bell peppers three long red peppers two cloves of garlic, one large onion and two scotch bonnet peppers. So here we've washed and cut our peppers into bits so it can be easy to blend. Although we need to blend this roughly, make sure not to blend it smoothly. So now we're transferring our peppers right into the blender. We'll be adding one cup of water into our blender to blend our pepper and then we cover and blend it roughly. Here we have our gizzard. I'm using chicken gizzard. Ensure that your gizzard are properly cleaned. Now we'll be seasoning with diced onions. 2 tablespoons dry thyme, 2 tablespoons curry powder, some bonion powder or maggi, salt to taste, and then we'll give this a nice mix. Then we had half cup of water. We mix this together briefly. Then 
we cover and cook this for 20 minutes or till done. And here is our blended pepper. You can see the texture is roughly blended. So ensure that you don't over blend your pepper. You don't need it to be smooth. We still need some particles in there. So now we need to cover and then we cook our pepper till the water dries up. 20 minutes later, our gizzard is well cooked and it has absorbed all the ingredients. You can see that there is no more water in the gizzard, which is what we want. So here we have a frying pan. We need to add some cooking oil. Here I'm using sunflower oil. Feel free to use any oil of choice. And then we'll lift this up. To test if our oil is hot enough, we just need to put a wooden skewer or spatula in the oil. And if you begin to see bubbles, then yeah, your oil is hot or you put a tiny bit of the onion and when it bubbles out then your oil is hot enough so now we're gonna have to fry some sliced onions then we pour in our gizzard Fry our gizzard for five minutes, but we need to stir constantly so every part can fry well. It doesn't need to be too dry, else it will be too tough to chew and you won't enjoy it. So just fry it slightly. Now our gizzard has been fried for 5 minutes, we need to take it out of the oil. Now we need to fry our plantain. It's advisable that you use the same oil with which you fry your gizzard to fry your plantain as well because we need to retain that flavor of the gizzard penetrating into your plantain which will give you the malicious taste which you crave for. We we'll fry our plantain till slightly brown. And we need to ensure to stir this so every part can fry well.
Now our plantain is well fried, we need to take it out of the oil. Repeat the same step till we fry all our plantains. Here we are transferring the oil with which you use to fry our plantain into a pot. And then we heat this oil up to be very hot. When it's hot, then we'll add some sliced onion and fry this for 5 seconds. And now we'll scoop in our boiled peppers. You can adjust the ingredients according to the quantity that you make it and I will also leave the list of ingredients below in the description box so you can also check it there as well. Feel free to share my videos with your friends and family. Here we are trying to fry our pepper sauce for the gizdodo. So give this a nice mix. Then we cover and fry this for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes, so now we give that a quick stir and then we we'll season our stew. We'll be seasoning with two tablespoons of dry thyme, two tablespoons of ginger powder, two tablespoons of curry powder. Bouillon powder or maggi, and you add salt to taste. Then you mix everything together. Then we cover and fry this for five minutes. Five minutes later, we're going to have to add one tablespoon of crayfish, ground crayfish, and then we stir together. And then we'll add our fried gizzard. Then we also had our fried plantains and this is the time we're going to marry these guys together then we give that a good mix now we'll be adding some sliced green bell peppers Then we we'll mix everything together. Now we cover this and let it simmer for three minutes.
it's been three minutes we need to give our geese dodo a quick stir and guys we are ready to serve our geese dodo I appreciate you all a lot for watching my video look at that beauty geese dodo is ready this geese dodo tastes super delicious you really need to try this recipe guys and I bet you really enjoy it subscribe if you haven't done so and kindly watch my other videos and I'll see you in my next video bye